Welcome back to Naming 90s Minute. Every week, we look back at a culturally relevant show, movie, or piece of pop culture that probably helps stoke the algorithm. This week, because Sony is making another mistake thinking a Spider-Man cinematic universe works without using Spider-Man, in the new film, Madam Web, we're looking back at one of the best Spider-Man the Animated Series episodes to feature her in, called Turning Point. Sins of the Fathers Chapter 14 Turning Point is the Season 3 finale of Spider-Man the Animated Series, which stars the voice of Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid, Dusty from G.I. Joe, Stan Lee's wife, Bud from Jag, Courtney from As Told by Ginger, Tila from the original He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, and Nurse Chapel from Star Trek the Original Series. The story begins with Peter Parker telling Madame Webb to lose his number, saying he doesn't want to be her errand boy anymore because he has everything he's ever wanted in life, which mostly boils down to he's happy because he's dating Mary Jane Watson and she loves him. Madame Webb is like, yeah, okay, but the two-headed dragon is going to show up and ruin your life and then I won't help you. Meanwhile, at Oscorp, Norman Osborn has gone insane and is listening to the Green Goblin in his head and makes some sort of portal device that he can strap to his chest. Norman convinces the Goblin that Spider-Man is his biggest risk at the moment since Spidey knows the Goblin's identity. So the Green Goblin goes around terrorizing the city until Spider-Man shows up and then the Goblin uses his portal device to sneak up on Spidey and make Peter think his Peter tingles on the fritz. Spidey dives into an alley and takes off his mask and the Green Goblin spies on him to see he is good old Petey Parker, whom Goblin recognizes as his son's best friend and determines Peter must have become Harry's friend to hurt Norman. Later, Peter meets up with Mary Jane and Liz at the coffee shop prior to going to Harry's birthday party that evening, but he's worried that Harry is still butthurt and MJ dumped him for PP. At the party, Peter and MJ thank Harry for inviting them given what has happened, and Harry has a hissy fit, storms off, and says his dad forced him to. Norman keeps making veiled remarks that he knows Pete's Parks is Spider-Man, which Peter eventually catches on to. Peter creates a distraction by setting a fire to the mansion before before Norman can reveal that Peter is Spider-Man. And then the two duke it out all the way to the George Washington Bridge before Goblin uses the science of portals to go terrorize Peter's home. Spider-Man checks on Aunt May after Goblin's threat but quickly realizes he should have gone to MJ's because the Goblin portals in and out super quick to kidnap Mary Jane. Back at the George Washington Bridge, Goblin and Spider-Man fight each other while Mary Jane wanders around aimlessly and then almost Gwen Stacy's herself before getting caught in one of Goblin's portals. Spider-Man doesn't see it happen so he thinks she just drowned in the river. Enraged, Peter kicks the Goblin into a faulty portal but has regrets so it attempts to save him before a Goblin does the classic Spider-Man 1 movie thing and tries to ram Spidey with the Goblin Glider, but ends up screwing himself. The episode ends with Peter pleading with Madame Web to save Mary Jane and Norman Osborn, but then he has his own hissy fit when she denies him since he wanted to be on his own earlier. Peter is left to reflect on the shambles of his perfect life while Mary Jane yells falling through a portal never to be seen again. And that's the season 3 finale of Spider-Man the Animated Series, Turning Point, in a namely 90s minute, more or less. Join us again next Tuesday for another Namely 90s Minute. Remember, you can always hear these a day early in full episodes of Namely 90s on all major podcasting platforms. And most of the small ones, too. Please subscribe and do all the other YouTube things. Bell ringing, share like, subscribe, that sort of stuff. And we'll catch you next time.